Hello my people, good morning, good afternoon, the place where you are watching this video, my people. I bring this video of this uh, two Kola and Fanta. How confused they are. They don't know where it will come from. They begin to argue. The other one, they read Bible, how they are Israel. This one said they are Melala. You see, these people are so confused that they are children with the bone, waiting that they feed their children with, with different versions of stories about them. And those children will grow up and be uh, ideology people, like, um, you know, when you have too much things in your brain, like those fake things, something that is not real. That bring people to become terrorists. Now, these people, they are terrorists. And the children they are having now, they were more dangerous than those people. Because they don't have one version. This one will talk the hour. This video is long, way, way. I don't feel listed and finished. But the area where at one point, I go the point small, small area out of all those things where they talk because they are speaking Igbo. Where they speak small, small English, I go the pick and make one listen to how these people take confused in life. People will confused like this. Now, they want to have a country, they want to associate with the confused people. You know, they. Even war, this all over the world is not even ready to work with this kind of people because even their leader, look at her name, that one is even more confused. All of them, it's just like people with their cast pen on, the way they look, them, they are coarse. Oh, now listen, my people. A lot of things. So, man, say, judge money award us. A discussion. Bastalum one now. And I've got all here to learn. So, and the Ndikulokush, we disagree to agree. So I believe that uh, after today, we will be able to learn one or two things concerning the origin of Hebrew and the uh, ancestors and our belief and what Hebrew stands for. So, and uh, what most of us understand. When you hear that name, Igbo, or when you hear the name, where we come from, or when you hear the name, the word, let's go back to our roots, or when you hear or men are alive, and all those things. So, we have to discuss a lot of things, and in uh, our and finish here today, we can still reschedule it another day, because it's not one day job, it's something we learn on a daily basis. So without uh, taking much of your time, like I have already said, my name is Marja Chebepol, M-A-P-S Yokubundo, and I hear from Omo, Omo is in Ayamelum, Ayamelum is in Omambala, Omambala is in Biafra land, and it's also the Igbo land, part of the Igbo land. And uh, because I have from our people that. When your brother is saying something and you disagree with him, you don't need to come on social media to, to start attacking him. Invite him so that you will ask him at this point, you don't understand, or oh, this thing, get into a water here. Allow the person, hear from the person so that before you will start crucifying the person, you will know the person's stand and what the person believes or what the person is doing or the reasons behind what the person is doing. And uh, I will borrow the word from our brother, Mazi Benjamin. He said, before you go the grudges, hold conversation. Because most of our people, they will just see somebody do something, they will just start holding grudges without each one now. Why did you do this thing? What prompted this thing? What is the motive? Or what are the reasons behind this thing you are doing? So on this note, that's uh, my question with uh, Judge Money by uh, asking him, Marty Judge Money, please, can you tell our audience who you are? 
said now about our people if we are actually all Biafrans are brothers we share one progenitor and uh, if one of us are enemy to each other the only thing we need to do is we pray for each other so that we will repent and uh, understand the brotherhood between us that is the reason why um I, I will speak english and speak Igbo so that i will carry those who cannot hear my dialect along thank you very much and according to the nation of jesus we answer in where he cover go do the meaning of ancestor all right in water that is in water again an ancestor and the genica your ancestor stand before okay um, our forefathers can be even our 50 fathers. You understand? So our ancestors, and we're ancestral um, uncle, which is one name, or Yana, we are no Yubo, and we have a Jimalia. And that very Jimalia, I feel Jimalia go, Emago, in I, I got Pokwe Jesus, Makana, Otoanoa, Asua go, you go, Suo, you go, Magazina, and I found away from the city, or with the meaning of Jesus. Now, coming back to the real name, Ejimalia, some people now bear Osana, some people now bear Ihe, Ihenkoa, Ihua, some people now bear Yeshua, which is the Jesus you see, the J, letter J, started existing in the 16th century. So that is the reason why when we talk about Jesus, people will now not understand. They believe that it is, it is something else. Jesus means a deity. And you can identify anything that, you know, you hold on high <laughs> esteem religiously as a deity. So you that is the reason why you. many people jump at Jesus' money. If I jump, if I jump, if I and we in Ian Ali, one went in Asa, Asa Osak, Osak. So, what went in Asa? Why are we only dead? Jesus, see, for Anna, where you are, Japoli, Jesus, so that Kono won't allow around the Malonia in Kumakia. They are selling bad markets to their generation. Change the Afia, Kawe, Ko, or one name Nani, Na Awa de Kusi. Then the father of Iboland is older than Jesus. So I want to many people, man, I brought say you wouldn't be to bow. It is also an allegory to, you know, actually explain your, your, you know, how long you have been in existence. So now I believe that I have answered you that Jesus we are talking about, no matter what you call him, in waking up, we are in Zoputa, or when they are where Jesus, Hosanna, when they are where Elohim, when they are where, um, people call him in different ways. Which is because of translation. Hana was here found. So, but I hear my natural uncle. Ancestral uncle is now their Jesus. So, uh, ancestral uncle, they don't give out one name. Confuse people. Question, and they do Confuse people, now they do. They're confused. Now, ancestors, but our forefathers, all the understandable, and all the water. Then coming to the rule of our ancestors, because in the, in the use of you know that name, go, that word, I mean, go back to our root. What comes to your mind that people are telling you that this root is all about? All right. Um, if you may permit me, if you may permit me, um, Going back to our root, before we start discussion of going back to our root, if we cannot do the basic things first, um, I want to ask him, if you can do where Hawa and I want to put it, the region of Ndibo. Now, we know Joseph Akebe Ndibo, people who have their own ideology, Ebi Ibosi. But if you permit me, in my own philosophy or in my own, if I investigation on me in your book in the goal maybe it was see and your book on ancient people and now, uh, when we talk okay go ahead go ahead now if you have to translate that word into english it means that it has meaning so you want to make mistake by say that now madu kawalo is to translate that ndibo mean the ancient automatically it has meaning and the meaning is the 
exchange. So in a choice the meaning of exchange, then all in back he got towards the Kinika ancient meaning because he do not the Kinika woman or the Wagina again. Won't be here not to go long. The reason why, before we go there, let me clarify the ancient things. Remember that now. Or do you know now say that um that uh, we are from West Africa. It is actually, you know, trying to um, tell people about the geographical location of There are other people that is from West Africa. So you telling yourself you are from West Africa does not mean that other people cannot come from West Africa. So what am I trying to say? When you say that we are Ndibo, Bo means uh, ancient. It is of old. And the Mona Gemma in the whole world, the one end not 200 years. Yes, Manahan Chaka, I ain't Chaka Wandibo. So, in a Kuna, I didn't know Wundibo. Guys, if you want to, and Mother Jogi, where Kebaisi or Siginibo Wundibo, Nibo is not explanation of our origin. Nah. Okay, okay. let's not say in now, we, we are old in this world, and which is everybody knows we are, we, I am not arguing it. We are very, very old in this world, even old up to 100 years. But 100 years. <laughs> there are other people who are also in the world. So, in the world does not mean that it is only particular Igbo people that are in the world. Where people are exist, thousands of thousands of years, you say 100 years. Hey, the oh, Igbo they are exist. Now, oh, hey, so of the shame. In of that My people. people. Andre years now you know they are old. Is the one you say it means in the so world. confused people. It is confused. just telling us how old we are. So we have nah. not found our age. The name means nah. our age. Now, nah, my brother, <laughs> Andre, I say, yes. I say, Igbo is an ethnic, ethnic group, or oh, it's a particular. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they are still and looking for where they came from. Kai. Okay. And therefore, that most of the names, every person in there, every home meaning, not only the Igbos. For yeah. example, Italy now is a name of a country, right? Yes. We do go go get the meaning of Italy. No, um, we are um, actually when we are um, talking um, about um, 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 them, and the Italian Italy the meaning of Italy, Italy, um, um, meaning have a progenitor with um, Ndibo Walona with the Wokema Apple Abiam Abiam. Some people were Abon Wiliafa, boy Abiam, some people Ndota Weber to Aliana Wafa, boy Abraham. Now, Abiyam is Abraham. Now, Abol Abraham. Oh, yeah, we. Na mutali ibo. Before Abraham, before Abraham amuti, kwa roya muta kwa le Abraham o. And obro kansi ibo ke Abraham mutal. Obro si ibo ke Abraham mutal. And uh, ina anya the ibo ancestry. You go to the lineage of Abraham, <laughs> and in this lineage of Abraham. Abraham was a, a child, um, a descendant of Noah. <laughs> Abraham was a descendant of Noah. And the Noah <laughs> gave birth to the Shem, okay. Ham, and Cush. <laughs> and this Shem, Ham, and Cush, if you look at it, Ham is <laughs> black people. Drama. Shem is black people, which is, uh, you'll find them some part of Ethiopians. Then you find Shem, also black people, which the lineage of Abraham, if you want to extend it to the genealogy hmm. of this Abraham, you will now understand that from, from the time of this guy called Noah, the father of Abraham was called Terah. Terah is a child of Abraham. The father of Abraham was called Terah. Terah is a child of Shem. Thank God, the Terah gave birth to Abraham. Now, when you see this, Abraham was a man who was not abiding. In the land of Canaan, where God, in the land where God placed him. Now, at some point, Abraham got married to, to his wife, Sarah, which is, um, Sarah, or bro, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah there was people, not me, to Mama gave birth to Sarah. Sarah. Okay, see, okay, see, okay, see, we have a word their tongue. 
And I want you to know that one thing about our ancestors, even 